If you're not following these three tips, especially the last one, that's the reason that you're not making as much money as you possibly can as an automotive technician slash mechanic. These are things that I implemented in my almost 10 years as an automotive technician to make as much money as I possibly could. Tip number one. So you get assigned a new vehicle, you grab the car, you bring it in your stall. Before you do anything else, the first thing that you should do is get on your computer and check the vehicle's history. If you don't start by checking the vehicle's history first, you could be in a situation where a lot of times you're spending five to 10 minutes checking on things that you could have just left alone if you would have known that hey last time the car was here it got it done or 6,000 miles ago it got this done so you shouldn't have even worried about checking it checking the history first also allows you to get somewhat of a game plan going into the vehicle for example if the car has 120,000 miles on it and you can see in the history that they've never had anything done besides regular oil changes then you probably don't want to spend too much time checking things because it's safe to to say they're probably just going to get the oil change so get in the habit of checking the history before you start doing anything else to the car it'll save you time and make you more money in the long run tip number two and something that you probably don't want to hear as an automotive technician or a mechanic but you want to focus on having a good relationship with your service advisors. And this does not mean be their best friend or bow down to them by any means. But every now and then, if they ask you to do something extra, some type of a favor, try and do it. If they ask you to keep a vehicle within a specific time frame, make sure to keep it in that time frame or keep them updated. And at the end of the day, just be nice to them. Whether it's wrong or right, at the end of the day, the service advisors do have a lot of power in the automotive world and they will have an effect on your paycheck. And once again, whether it's wrong or right, if the service advisors like you, from my experience, you're going to get better work and overall going to make more money. Tip number three, and I would say what helped me make the most amount of money throughout my time as an automotive technician. If you're trying to upsell something on the car that you're working on, which should be most of the time, if the services that you're trying to upsell can be done outside and you won't need your rack to complete them, then as soon as you're finished doing whatever the car originally came for don't wait for the service advisor if you haven't heard back yet immediately put the car out back and bring a new car on your rack for example if you're trying to upsell something like a battery replacement wiper blades a cabin and engine filter anything like that that can be done outside don't let the car sit on your rack obviously if it's something like a transmission service or a tire rotation where you'll need your rack to complete it then you may want to sit on the car for a few minutes and wait for the service advisor to get back to you there's no reason why you should be sitting on the car if you're just waiting for services that can be done outside you could bring in another car while you're waiting get started on that and be making more hours in my experience following this method oftentimes created somewhat of a domino effect i bring a car in for an oil change tire rotation and let's say it needs a new battery and wiper blades as soon as i'm finished the oil change tire rotation i'm going to park it out back while i wait for that upsell and grab another car let's say the new car is in alignment and i want to upsell a cabin and engine filter on that well while i'm doing the alignment i hear back from the service advisor hey go ahead and do the battery and the wiper blades on the other car i finish up the alignment and now while I'm waiting on the alignment upsell, I do the battery and the wiper blades. And by the time I'm finished that, I hear back from the alignment car and it becomes a domino effect. Overall, the idea is to eliminate as much idle time as possible and be as efficient as possible. Comment below and let me know if there's anything that I missed that you use to make the most amount of money as an automotive technician or mechanic.